I will cover my most successful lures when it comes to catching big perch. As you can see, I have quite a few on the table here. So I will cover sizes, shapes, colors, buoyancy, what I use when, how I rig them. Also, just to make sure that this video is a little bit more interesting for you guys, I'll break the talk about the lures and will show you some big perch I was catching on these lures. So I hope it will be very, very interesting for you. Stick around. Hello and welcome to my 100 big perch challenge. I promise I won't give up until this challenge is done and dusted. And during this series of videos, I will cover plenty of perch fishing topics like presentation, location, lures, rigs, tips and tricks, and obviously very, very big perch banked. Again, men's fish and very, very chunky. Really struggling to fit it into the frame. <laughs> wow. And the rules will be very, very simple ones. I will only count perch longer than 40 centimeters towards my 100 big perch goal. So it will be a good one. So please make sure you stick around and subscribe to my channel. Before talking about all the lures you just saw on the table, I must share some important information with you guys. And that is about getting to know or learning the waters you are fishing at. By that I mean in some waters, rivers, lakes, canals, whatever, big perch will prefer big lures. On the other water they will prefer small lures. I have a perfect example. For example, I have a river where if you want to be selective and catch big perch, you just must use about 10 centimeter lure. You can catch them on smaller lures as well, but then you will be catching pike, you will be catching smaller perch and so on. If you want to catch big perch and be selective, then 10 centimeter lure is the way to go on that river. On the other river, if you would use something like that, you would not catch a perch or not as many at all big ones, but if you will use something like that, which is about six centimeters in length, then you will catch big, big perch. The biggest one I caught was 1.7 kilos almost on this tiny lure. And I caught none on the same river, which I caught that 1.7 and many more on these small groups. I caught none on these big ones and it works the opposite way around. So on that river where I use these big ones, if I would start using these small ones, I would miss a lot of bites from small fish. I would catch some small pike, sometimes big pike, but not many big perch at all. So yeah, learn your rivers or waters in general where you are targeting those big stripes, guys. Okay, guys, this one is a couple millimeters short to 40 centimeters, but just because it's tail, I don't know, kind of damaged but not really damaged just very tiny one other than that it's a lovely fish chunk actually definitely over a kilo so yeah number 21 awesome right guys i have a very very good fish in my net 42 centimeters menta It's a good problem to have to struggle to fit a fish into a frame <laughs> especially big perch awesome so yeah number 22 i just caught a big perch using my improved jika rig basically that's a rig where weight and lure with a hook can slide in a small loop and that's in my opinion it's very very good rig especially when it's cold you know for a lot of reasons and one of them being you know that you can use big weights as you can see today it's windy i'm using seven grams but still i'm using small and delicate lure and this rig excels really in these situations when you want to use 
something delicate with a decent weight. So yeah, lovely rig. Anyway, enough of these dogs. Check out this bad boy, 42 centimeters. If it's not a three pounds, it will be very, very close, guys. It's crazy bright as well. So yeah, number 23. And this fish is amended, just check it out. <laughs> Total amend fish. So yeah, I'll slip it back and hopefully we'll get another one. Awesome. And I just had this little devil at exactly 40 centimeters, just 40 centimeters. But yeah, a minter. So yeah, number 24 for me. Happy days. Really lovely, lovely river fish, guys. Pristine fish, really. Whew. I will start with this one. And I have to admit that this one will be my favorite big perch lure. So it's about 10 centimeters in length. It weighs about 6 grams, I believe. And it has quite a fancy shape. So it's more or less like a worm if you would not look that it has a tail so it has that ring here but that ring also has some spikes on it and it has some ridges and this lure works when retrieved very very slow as well like super slow you can retrieve it and still the tail will wobble so that's very very good again that's a big lure for a perch so on some waters this lure was not working because basically fish wanted smaller bites but when the fish were feeding basically you check this one in and perch will find it and eat it it was so successful i don't know the numbers how many perch to this point i caught on these lures but probably it would be close to 50 perch over a kilo let's say on these lures so that is ridiculous i'm not saying that this season but in general so very very successful lures and yeah a little story basically i was fishing one time and a couple of kids no actually it was three kids came to me and asked what i'm using for lures and i showed them that i'm using these and uh, i gave two or three of these lures to try out and what do you think in next couple of hours they banked two good perch even though it was very very difficult day and they were not catching anything before that so yeah these lures are awesome and when it comes to rigging them most of the time i just use chickhead that's a four slash zero or you can use three slash zero as well and just rig it simply sometimes i use a tube to combat the weed, uh, weed a little bit but yeah very very basic idea and when it comes to the colors this one was very very good even though I don't know why it does not have any UV just perch love it for some reason it's not exactly bright it's not exactly you know uh, kind of muted if you like it's kind of gold I would say with some red and gold flecks at the top here and the top is more transparent if you like and then this green was also very very good like a cucumber almost color so yeah those were insane lures when the fish were feeding and when you want to be selective and target big perch as they say you just chuck one of these into the water and almost certainly perch will find it and try to eat it awesome they have very very good perch not very long about 41 centimeters but super fat i will show it oh yeah just check it out as they say not super long but just look how fat he is or she is should i say mint as well so yeah number 25 guys I won't be surprised if this perch will go to three pounds, you know, because it's super, like, super chunky. I mean, very, very chunky perch. 
So yeah, happy days. Quick snap before letting him go. 42 centimeters. Just lovely perch. Oh yeah, just look at that. And it will be number 26 or 7. Can't recall it exactly, but don't really care too much because this perch is absolute minta. Just check it out, guys. That dorsal fin is up. Woo! Yes! You are a beauty. Okay, quick snap before letting you go. That's all. Another super successful lure for me was this worm. As you can see, it's about six and a half centimeters in length. It has ridges and wriggly tail. Again, very, very kind of tasty looking little grub. And it's quite light lure as well. It weighs just about one gram, if I remember correctly. So very, very tiny little grubs these are. And when it comes to colors, the most successful and just con consistent and constant catcher is a motor oil one. Really, on any day, if you have motor oil on, very, very rarely you will get a better color. But again, I used to use these lures, or I am using these lures when the going is difficult. So the fish are not feeding, it's difficult to find them, and so on. So these grubs, then, most of the time, they used to catch me those big fish, even so, they are not really selective lures so yeah but again when i'm talking about the colors this uh, yellow one used to be very very good to find the fish and often i would get more aggressive bite from the fish than on the motor oil one but again sometimes this one will not just will not work but motor oil will always work and on some occasions this bright one might just be a little bit better but if you want to be safe motor oil is always the first choice or at least is for me also this motor oil one has a red flex in it and the yellow one has silver flex in it uh, when it comes to the rigging most of the time i just use tiny chick heads and i like to use small hooks as well with these worms because then it means that the worm has maximum action, you know, and I found that I rarely miss a bite anyways, even though my hook is, or might look, on a smallish side. And obviously, if I start missing bites, then I can always shorten these worms, because the shape is very good of these worms, you can shorten them nicely, you know. Can't quite get it to look nice, this worm. I will get there in a sec just to show you how tasty it looks like on that tiny chick head. About there. So yeah, not expensive and just super fish catchers, especially on those hard days. Quite often, when the fishing used to be difficult, and even my bestish lure was struggling, I was not getting any bites, like casting, let's say, in one spot, half an hour, nothing. But then, I chuck one of these out, three casts, and I have one and a half kilos perch on, and after a couple more casts, similar si si size of fish. But again, on these ones, I could not get a take from these fish because they were just not feeding they wanted smaller grub on some rivers on other rivers you won't get anything on smaller ones they just will want bigger ones but yeah when the fishing is difficult and you don't know the river that well small grubs will always catch you something and these ones are the best ones in my opinion check this one out at 45 centimeters and three pounds and some ounces basically 1.45 kilos so yeah that fish is a little monster Whew. as always hard work pays off sometimes not always but if you will keep on working all the time 
you will find that not as they say let's see the dorsal fin look 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 he's doing how about that for a television guys <laughs> Happy days. Couple pictures before letting him go. Awesome. 45 centimeters. Uh, I won't weigh it. I will give him like 1.5 kilos because it's a chunky fish as you can see. So yeah, and very big camels. Hump if you like. So yeah, that's a proper big river board. This one is beautiful fish as well. Lovely fish really. Awesome, let's chuck it back after I will grab a couple of pictures result and I will show you what I use to catch this fish as well. So basically tiny little lure like a worm imitation. Yeah, happy days with a 2 gram chickhead. Fancy one where I glued ice on it. Yeah, let's keep on chucking around, maybe I will get another one. Awesome. As you can see in the shot here, I have two bright yellow crayfish imitations and towards the end of the season or just in the springtime, these were very very good for some reason and I have two sizes here and two shapes. So basically this one is about maybe a centimeter longer and this one has just insane amount of details and those tiny little or not so tiny but just long and slim kind of hands if you like of the crow do wave quite well in the water and really when the fishing was very very difficult these used to get me an extra bite out of nowhere almost you are struggling for you know for a couple of hours nothing nothing and then you just chuck out one of these and you know in next 20 minutes you will get a bite but then when the fishing got even more difficult i used to use even smaller crayfish so two are floating ones by the way so again similar sort of deal not as many details but super soft lure and again not sure why but if i used to use the same patterns just different colors i used to not catch those fish they used to want something visible with plenty of uv but small so then i used to be able to trick those big perch just by using something like that something kind of not selective by the size but selective by the color in the cold water and again bright floating lure in cold water quite often will produce you a bite or just kind of in provoke those fish to grab it because it will be something small and very very visible so yeah these were very very good towards the end of the season and also they were very very good for big pike as well even though you would not you know think that i don't know six seven centimeter lure would be good for big pike but i caught lots and lots of big pike on on these lures uh, when it comes to the rigging most of the time i used to use offset hooks and i used to tie them in a jika rig so basically lure goes onto the offset hook then i used to grab a teardrop weight and used to tie an improved jika rig where the hook and the weight are in the small loop of the line so yeah very very successful lure for me towards to the end of the season especially when i used to struggle and used to you know not get many bites and from time to time i used to kind of get annoyed by that weed still it was weedy towards the end of the season and yeah offset hook obviously helped with that so yeah successful floating lures bright ones not very big ones though all right guys uh this one is actually exactly 40 centimeters but i was you know sure that it's much much shorter i was thinking it will be like 35 or something like that and then i started measuring it i, I, I could not believe my eyes so yeah 
uh, getting, you know, spoiled, I guess, a little bit. And this is something special. 46 centimeter tank of, of a perch. Probably 1.6 kilo, something like that. Chunky, really, really chunky fish. I guess some cormorant attacked him some, some time ago, but yeah, other than that, that fish is a minta. This shape is called swing impact fat and really it is a fat lure. This one is at about 7 centimeters in length but just look how fat that lure is. And look at the size of the tail. Really really lots and lots of vibrations in the water. And I really found that sometimes perch will want something kinda shorter or stumpier in size but still a good bite so it would be like a good chunky bite and these swing impact fat lures is exactly that and with that you know extra big tail which paddles quite well and with a quite slow retrieve as well they do work very very well and when it comes to the color for me the most successful one was which I just call lead color basically kind of pearl white or almost aluminum lead something like that belly and I don't know darker metal top but it's not exactly black and this color has plenty of UV in it as well so yeah this color and this size about seven seven and a half centimeters was very very successful for me and when it comes to rigging it I used to use most of the time chickheads like this hooks one slash zero something like that really caught quite a few nicer perch on these lures when going was difficult but still when the fish wanted something you know active but they were not active themselves they were quite passive but they just wanted an easy kind of chunky roach I guess for breakfast or whatever all right guys just check this one out 45 centimeters 1.5 kilos exactly proper tank this one is so yeah number 33 i want to say just look at that he had some accident with spike i guess but other than that whew, awesome <laughs> she's a beauty it will be like three pounds and five ounce something like that result okay guys second big perch for the day this one is a little bit smaller than the first one 41 centimeters probably it will be like 1.1 kilos 1.2 kilos something like that so yeah but that fish is a minter just check it out <laughs> yeah awesome number 34 i want to say result the shape is called swing impact not fat just swing impact so basically the same thing as the one i was talking before just not fat kind of or just longer when it comes to the length so this lure is more or less more like a worm than it is a shad but still it has that active tail as you can see here and this lure will work when retrieved super super slow or it will paddle when retrieved super super slow as well and I have one which is 10 centimeters in length here so selective lure when the fishing is good or when you are looking for an active fish and, and you want to single out those bigger ones maybe if there are some smaller ones when it comes to the color this one is quite interesting one I call it a rotten carrot if you like so as you can see orange belly but again not like bright orange it's kind of muted orange uh, with some uv in it and brown top with red flex in it so again quite successful color for me i had quite a few nice perch on it probably i did not use it as much but when i used to use it i used to catch quite well and not sure whether it's a color thing or the shape of the lure 
thing because just look at all those deep ridges they will be creating lots and lots of kind of micro vibrations in the water and will attract perch by that as well so yeah great lures when it comes to the rigging i used to use most of the time chick heads again you will need about four slash zero or three slash zero hook for that I will quickly rig one on just to show you how it looks like. Again, these lures are quite nice and slim and you can use offset hooks quite easy as well. They are just nice and, you know, simple lures. Tasty looking lures as well. Number 35, not a massive perch. 40 centimeters, probably a kilo and a bit, but yeah, happy to catch her on this bendy and hard day. Let's check the dorsal, dorsal fin. Oh yeah, she's a minta. Look at the tail, guys. Proper beautiful this one is. <laughs> Wow, all right, couple snaps before letting her into her watery home. Check this brute out, 45 centimeters, 1.5, 45 kilos, but it will be like 3 pounds, 3-4 ounce, something like that. Whew. Uh, number 2 for today and 30 Six, I believe, overall. Wow, really, really lovely river fish. But it's a bit from me for today. I hope you'll find this video useful. Also, if you will decide to grab a few of these lures yourself, check those links in the description below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.